So what's up guys, I wanted to make a video real quick. I finally did some updating and modding to my Marvel Pinball Cab. I haven't been really playing this one all that much. I've been playing Pinball FX3 on my laptop, hooked up to uh, some stuff in my bedroom in there. But, you know, I haven't given these any love lately. I'm going to mod this one too later, but uh, I went ahead and did this one because I have all the Marvel cabinets on uh, Pinball FX on Steam. So what I did is, if you've uh, heard of Cool Toy before, Cool Toy's really into modding the arcade one-up machines, and uh, I've been watching him for a while and everything. And, uh, you know, he came out with a video where he had step-by-step -step instructions and everything that was really good and really well done. And he lists all the uh, boards that you need to do this. Uh, excuse me real quick, let me pop that. Uh, you need a couple of boards in order to do this. And this is the first one. And it's a display board that allows you to hook up your HDMI cable uh, basically to it. And it also has a uh, monitor adjustment and everything. Now I'm using the stock display monitor that came with this. So uh, I didn't wanna have to switch all that stuff out. I kept everything stock as far as the haptics and, and I just took out the uh, PCB that came with it. Uh, you know, I, if I ever plan on selling this, I want to keep all that together. I don't have to go searching for it. This is a zero delay board that you need, uh, if you want to use the buttons inside the cab. Now, if you say, just want to hook up a switch to this and then just mount your switch, uh, joy cons on the side or something like that, you don't need that. Uh, you'll just use your Bluetooth and everything, uh, to your switch. I put all my buttons and, or, uh, I'm sorry, my electrical in the back and stuff there. I built a little board. I cut a little board and put it across the bottom down here where I could lay my laptop on there and it's secure. So I've got a really good laptop. It's got uh, three outputs. Well, I'm using two right now because I don't have the back uh, screen put in or anything. I think I'm going to do that next month. I'm not real sure if I'll do it or not, but... Uh, if you, as long as you have two outputs on your laptop, uh, so it supports two screen outputs, uh, you can use your back glass there and, uh, it's really cool. So anyway, I did that. I changed out the buttons. I put, you know, the half style buttons for better clicking and stuff like that. And then these, and, uh, I made it to where you could shoot the ball. You can't use the plunger with this particular method. You have to actually use a different board. And again, Cool Toys has a video displaying all that. I'm not going to go through a step-by-step -step process because he does a much better job of it than I would. I just wanted to show you that it was easy to do. Uh, it took me maybe an hour after I got the boards in and stuff yesterday. And, uh, you know, you just go in and use Joy to Key on your... Uh, laptop and everything or your computer and uh, set up your buttons for what you want them to do so they work in game and everything and uh, the other thing that I did let me pop this back down is I made it to where I could also use my Xbox blue, uh, via Bluetooth the controller and everything so I could use the menus because one thing I do not like is having to use this these buttons and everything to do the menus so this is so much easier and then once I get back in the game I actually I have it set up to where I can play the the game with this the just the buttons on it and everything so it works really well and now I have all the Marvel tables and it runs in 1080p you know you don't have all the jaggies and stuff, which wasn't a huge, huge issue to me. I just wanted more tables on it. And uh, it, it's nice that it looks nicer and stuff like that. So anyway, my Alexa's in the background speaking to me because I said something. The cool thing about having a, a multi-display output is that uh, you can actually send a code in to uh, the, the folks that make the Zen Studios and everything, and they'll send you a, a, a code to where you put it in on the uh, menus on this and everything, and you can actually uh, turn it vertical, and then you can also adjust the size and everything of your screen up there, which is really cool. So I was able to fill that up instead of how that is, where it only takes up that much space. Uh, it, it takes up the entire tire deal here let me go back in here i'll just hit another play game so you can see it again so yeah so 
you just have to adjust that and get it just right and everything and it's simple to do in the menus and everything so it's not that difficult but i just love how everything looks how it plays and sounds and everything it uses the onboard speakers i just don't have it hooked up at the moment uh but anyway i'm gonna put it all back together and enjoy so thanks for watching appreciate you bye